Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fur video. We're going to have a look at the weather. Let's take 14 days for today's fur video. Day 10 will take us to the 3rd of March. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SNG Affairs and ECM Ensembles. Maybe we'll try in a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And I shall get on that for you in a moment, just to say you back first. Video late release today was our 6 of UK weather forecast, and we've also released European Outlook as well. So please check out all today's videos and content. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. So to everybody for uh, doing that. Right, let's start off CT. The central temperature is uh, sitting at 8.7, uh, which is nearly 5 degrees above 61 to 90 average. That is the visual to yesterday, to the 21st of February. That should start edging downwards now. Uh, be interesting where that lands up. We've got to beat 7.9 from 17.79 to have our uh, warmest February on CT record. So it will be very interesting to see where that lands. These are the 500 millibar height, on, height anomaly flow charts for Penn State University over the next week to 10 days. We've got the ECMWF on the top and the GFS, which we'll have a look at in a moment. It's on the bottom, 500 millibars. 18,000 feet is an area in the atmosphere, high pressure and low pressure uh, being moved around by the jet stream running above. Red extrapolates to above average heights, which is high pressure. Blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. These are the mean flow charts for the 7 to 10 day time frame. And you can see that in the 7 to 10 day time frame, we've got low pressure with the ECM still coming in from off the Atlantic. A ridge is out in the centre of the Atlantic as well. And the jet stream, the wind flow, doing something a little bit like that. So we're on the cool side of the jet stream, bringing a northwest southeast alignment to the jet. And uh, low pressure will keep it pretty unsettled as well. The GFS is very similar. Actually, a little bit deeper with the low pressure in the Atlantic. High pressure pulled out into the centre of the Atlantic. And again, we've got the wind flow and jet stream on a northwest to southeast alignment. So both of them looking rather chilling, I think, and unsettled in the 7 10 day time frame. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Nottingham. And we're starting off a little bit below average over the uh, next few days. So we are in for a, a few days of, of cooler or rather colder weather. Our bread temperature then starting to lift up uh, around the turn of the month, becoming milder again. And generally, the first week or so of, uh, of March looks like it's uh, turning a little bit on the milder side, actually. So it doesn't look like it's going to be a particularly cold opening to uh, March this year, unlike what we had last year, of course, temptation wise. So here's today's uh, deluge on go. Um, then we get a few days of uh, dry weather, but into the weekend and next week turning more unsettled again. So uh, no sign in the next 10 days anyway of anything particularly drier. Maybe though, the first hints perhaps of something slightly drier by the end of the first week of March you hear. But of course, that is a long way off as is therefore in me unreliable time frame. Let's have a look at snow rope in Ottingham. Not great, really. There are a few snow spikes there, but, you know, not, not that impressive. And as far as air pressure is concerned, uh, possibly on the up. So uh, we're starting off with very low pressure, of course, at the moment, 980 millibars. Trend towards higher pressure there. Um, between 1,010 and 1,020 millibars as we get into the last stages or the end of February. And then possibly through here as well, which is further right into the first week of March, possibly signs of pressure starting to rise then. No, it could be December 1st, I think, see or something drier, uh, perhaps a more high pressure dominated, end of deluge maybe, by the end of the first week of March. I'm looking at chart dates in a moment. Temperature anomaly is from the 22nd of February to 1st of March, around to a little bit below average. Precipitation anomaly is from the 22nd of February, 1st of March. Went to the average at England and Wales, but a little bit on the drier side for Ireland and parts of Scotland, somewhat unusually. The latest weather map from earthnorthschool.net shows uh, that we change in wind direction, so we begin to lose those very mild southwesters from the subtropical Atlantic that have been bathing us throughout most of the uh, months so far, and as the front clears out of Waipu here, we start to bring the wind in from like the northern portion of the Atlantic, so it's more of a polar maritime airstream. 
we start, so we're starting to import in across the country, and you will feel that difference. I've been mild for so very long, you will notice that drop in the temperature and, and generally colder feel over the next few hours. Right, let's start going for chart data then. This double latest UK bet your run is looking for big night on Sony. Low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. That brings a cold, wet day potentially in good Wales on Sunday. That gets out of the way. A little reach then starts to build in from the southwest on Tuesday. But uh, we keep the uh, wind flow from the west really through to uh, next Thursday. As far as we get to with the UK Met Euro run, the remaining unsettled. But it should be relatively mild with wind coming in from the central portion of the Atlantic. I can't, again, looking uh, unsettled uh, from sunny to Bunny. Below pressure further southwards with Icon morning towards France. So probably not that cold and wet down in the south. Then through the uh, it's middle part of next week, start drawing some drawing some mild air from the southwest. Uh, but uh, and it turns a little bit drier as well for a day or two. But we're back into the wet wind is again with Icon by the second half of next week as a pretty deep area of low pressure comes in from the Atlantic. And that starts to bring some cooler air back in from uh, the northwest as well. The KMA is uh, looking like this. So uh, again, further samples with that area of low pressure sunny into Bernie Morton towards France. And then higher pressures reaching up from the southwest bring some mild weather around the middle part of next week. Just staying unsettled, westerly zonal really with the KMA um, right way up to the end of it. But by the 6th March, just maybe a hint, or is that 5th of March, 5th March week, just maybe a hint of some higher pressure beginning to start reaching in from the uh, Azores. And that would be quite a spring-like feel, I think, by then, actually, with that area of high pressure start to push up from the southwest. The GFS uh, midnight run, Again, looks cool and unsettled through the early part of uh, next week. Into the middle next week, turns milder, but still is quite changeable. Another pretty deep area of low pressure rain coming in from the Atlantic up through the end of next week as well. So that keeps us unsettled all the way up to day 10 and quite chilly as well with wings in from the northwest. But look at this, we get beyond day 10 and the high pressure starts building up. So that looks very nice. That is the 5th of March. It's 300 hours away. It's a long way out, but that would be like proper spring. I reckon we get temperature into the teen Celsius with that. And it would be main dry as well away from northern and western parts of Scotland. So a taste of spring there. Um, and we finish it up with high pressure right over top of the country. Look at that. So possibly, as I say, maybe a hint to you that uh, we're going to see some higher pressure as we get into early March. But the boat's a very long way off. So, you know, if you're waiting for an end to the day, if, you, if, you, if you're fed up for, with being rained on, of that, um, you know, don't put flags out just yet, but it is a bit of a hint there. Uh, GFS 6 z again, looking very unsettled from certainly that area of road pressure, bringing lots of cold rain down in the south, staying chilly into the beginning of next week. Uh, before we turn milder, but keep it unsettled through most of next week, with winds remaining from the west and further low pressure bringing more bouts of rain. That gets us to day 10, still looking unsettled then. Beyond day 10 though, the 6Z also raising heights to the south, starting to build some higher pressure up from the south. And so, yes, BGFS 6Z also gets us into high pressure um, right over the country by the time we get to the second week of March. Again, is this a change that we're seeing here to significantly drier spring-like weather? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say so at the moment, but it is a bit of a hint. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Web. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. 80 subscribers will get us to 18.1k. So if you could give us a sub, to your friends and family to subscribe, it would be amazing and incredible. Uh, we will thank you so very much for doing this for uh, Gals Web well, Vids. Okay, GM. Again, with low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic on Sunday. So that brings potentially a cold, wet day down into the south. Um, we back wind into a milder direction, though, as we go to the middle of next week, so temperatures should lift up. Days unsettled, though, with further low pressures, areas driving through into the second half of next week. That's a setup at day 10. High pressure from southwest, ridgy northeast, was bringing drier weather. And that's the first thing, but uh, that high pressure could start pushing up from the Azores if we could go 
beyond data, which we can't. And uh, there'd be uh, ECM looking like this. So all much of a muchness really for Sunday to Monday. Low pressure rain down into France, but could bring some heavy rain, cold rain into uh, the south. And then beyond that, a ridge builds up southwest, turns being drier and milder. The middle part of next week before we're back to the wet and windies again later on next week. Um, we get to day 10 and we get rid of a low pressure to ourselves. High pressure south of the Atlantic. We bring the air in from the northwest. Less of a convincing signal that high pressure start reaching in um, through the first week of March with the uh, with the East Shem. I think Bishlow here will probably just come in uh, from the northwest with uh, that scenario. But maybe then the high pressure will start, uh, re start to assert itself. Uh, might just take a day or two longer compared to what GFS is showing. Uh, okay, so this, this is the precipitation forecast based on that uh, East Chef run from SpreadShow.com. Very wet day across England and Wales today, of course. That rain gets out of the way and leaves us with wintry showers into the north and the west. Um, there's the wet weather just affecting the far south on Sunday. Bit of a deluge down there and into the extreme south east. But most of us miss that. Most of the rain with that is actually going into France. Then we're into a couple of drier days early next week before the rain comes back later next week. <laughs> bringing further wet weather in. Some wintry conditions in with that as well um, as we get to the end of next week. So that's the 1st of March, next Friday. And, uh, you know, got some um, wintry conditions going on there. Of parts of England and Wales with that wet weather, some quite heavy snow in southern Scotland. So the beginning of March is, is quite cold there. And even a little bit of snow getting to extreme southeast corner about the second of March. I wouldn't take that too seriously though. And uh, that's a setup by day 10, so we're going a little bit drier um by then. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 3rd of March. 20 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure south and higher pressure ridging in to the north. The winds will be coming in coming in from an east or a north east direction. Wettest conditions will be down in the south with that. We've got 16 looking very unsettled. Low pressure from the northwest to the south east along with jet stream as well. And then we've got 15 again with low pressure over to the south of the country. So that also looking quite unsettled. Most of the options still involving low pressure actually there at day 10 but in two weeks time maybe the hint of change which gets us to the 8th of march 27 members of the ecm ensembles have a scandinavian high low pressure to our southwest that should be drawing up some milder air from the southeast i would have thought of course the wind could back round to the east so if the scandinavian high takes over uh, probably turning a bit drier especially in northern and eastern regions 13 still with low low pressure uh, sort of in control. And then 11 with uh, a ridge here over the UK going into the North Atlantic. That's the most settled option. And again, just a bit of a hint that we might start to be seeing high pressure getting more involved in the weather pattern as we go into the um, latter part of the first week of March. CFS reach you finally, and then we're done. So uh, these are 500 millibar heights as I was breaking down. In two weeks, periods. the first week period takes us from the 22nd to 28th of February. But next week looks very unsettled with low pressure in the Atlantic through to the north and the west of Europe. Week two will be the 29th of February to the 6th of March. Again, low pressure dominates from the Atlantic into western parts of Europe there. Week three is going to be the 7th to the 13th of March. No hint of high pressure here. <laughs> this just keeps it unsettled. Low pressure remains stuck over the top of the country. Quite a strong northern blocking signal by then as well, but not really in a position to bring much of cold weather to us. We just keep the deluge going there. And then finally, week four. Four is the 14th to the 20th of March. High pressure in the North Atlantic to Greenland. You will think that's probably going to be bringing in a northern wind. You expect there'd be a trough somewhere. I would suspect the trough would be. Um, whoops! I suspect the trough would be through there somewhere. Uh, Ridge down across some parts of Europe would bring some warm, maybe even quite hot air up from Africa into that far southeastern corner of the Europe and into the Med, as an uh, eastern portion of the Med as well. All a long way off though, and uh, certainly not much of a hint of high pressure taking over with a CFS. So I think we better stay cautious on those, on that idea, you know, of uh, of higher pressure into March. But uh, we'll see. Okay, if you enjoyed the video, if you'd like to subscribe, make sure you share one for doing that. Why not drop a comment? 
Uh, let us know what you think about this and all of our bits and content. And don't forget to tell friends about Gareth Worthens. Get them to subscribe to. And we thank so much everybody for doing that. Right, so that's it for today. Videos tomorrow. We have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. Jeremy Friday, 10 to 14 day for EC 46 day. Uh, and we'll be live at half 10. So a big day of uh, updates tomorrow. Good gracious me. Lot to, lot to crack on with. Um, though uh, I'll see you maybe live in the pub run at half 10. Or for some of the uh, videos um through the course of the day uh you enjoy the rest of your thursday both try and stay dry it's, it's very wet out there across england and wales anyway um enjoy the rest of your thursday uh, for this video that's all for now and thanks so much